Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace that trailer jack or swivel jack on your trailer. We've got a new one from pontoonstuff.com that's gonna replace this. This one's just worn out. It's the double wheel, so it's heavy duty, but if you look close, it's torqued. It's not really safe to keep using. In fact, there's another bolt in here just so that this doesn't fail. I'm gonna show you how to take this one off and put the new one on. Before you loosen everything, make sure that you've either supported this with a concrete block, something very strong, or in this case, we're gonna use my floor jack. Then with the 9 16th impact, you could use a socket and a 9 16th wrench. I'm gonna take the old one off. Four bolts. That's how quick and easy the old one comes off. So in our hardware bag, we've got our trailer dolly, trailer jack, we've got our backing plates, we've got four bolts with nylock nuts, and then we have our crank handle. So let's go ahead and just put our crank handle on first. We have a long bolt that goes through the plastic, and then you'll see on the end of the long bolt that it is squared off. So that's gonna orient in a particular place on this handle because the handle is machined to a squared off position too. So I slide that in, line everything up. We have a washer and then a nylock nut. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that down with a 9 16 wrench so we can get it nice and snug into that nylock so the nut or the bolt is coming into the nylock of the nut. That will rotate for you. Make sure that you orient the handle facing away from that jack or the swivel part of the jack. Next, we're gonna decide exactly where we want this and how we're gonna line it up. I like to orient the jack in a vertical position with that single hole at the top. So there's a single hole and then a set of three holes. And those are gonna line up with however your trailer is designed. So this one is gonna line up here. It's gonna be the top and the bottom holes. So I'm going to take two bolts. We're just going to start with one side. I'm going to set that right up. I'm going to grab my backing plate. And then I can hand tighten my nuts on, just get them snug and that way it can't fall off. We'll do the same with the other side. So remember every trailer is different. We use that top hole and the third hole down on this bracket. Remember, if your trailer's a little bit thinner or wider, you might use a different hole. I'm gonna repeat this same process on the other side by putting my bolts through first and then getting that bracket in place. And we put the jack in the same place that the old jack was. It was just getting old, maybe somebody left it down when they took off to trailer their boat. Who knows, but it needed to be replaced. The position was just fine, so we kept it just about the same spot. Now with my impact or a socket, I'm gonna just snug these down. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way. Make sure my brackets are straight. And then I'm a huge advocate of hand tightening. So I'm gonna use a socket with my 9 16 uh, wrench to tighten these down by hand. We're gonna tighten them all evenly to prevent that bracket from bending. When done properly, you should have about the same amount of bolts sticking out of that nut. We're snogged up, remember, if you're trying to put your dolly down and you turn it and the wheel turns, you have to stop that wheel from turning in order to get the crank to engage for that jack to extend. This is a trailer for a 22 foot tri-tune. So that double wheel is gonna make it a lot easier when we need to move it around by hand. Plenty strong and fast to crank up to get it on the hitch of your truck or your tow vehicle. Pontoonstuff.com 
has these. They have all your other trailer accessories like lights too. So look them up. Not just a great place for your furniture and flooring, but also for your trailer too.